Was Jesus a socialist? No. But if you really need context, here we go. Socialism is most commonly associated with Joseph Stalin, but the ideology was, of course, really started by Karl Marx. Even though he built on the ideas of people before him, no one had the widespread impact like Marx and Engels did with the Communist Manifesto. Marx was a very practical person, and he looked at history as a kind of practical science. And here's how he thought history worked. Stage 1. History began as a primal, tribal, communist society where everything was shared and people were equal. Stage 2. Over time, some people took power over others, leading to dictatorships where the lower people were enslaved. Stage 3. This eventually progressed into the feudal states of medieval times, made of many factions. Stage 4. Capitalism arose eventually, and that gave immense power to the economic and political leaders of society, so they'd oppress even more people. Stage 5. The oppressed lower classes would necessarily grow in contempt of capitalism until they could no longer take the pressure and they'd revolt, overthrowing the capitalist leaders and installing an administrative socialist state which would stamp out oppression over time until everyone was equal. Notably, Socialism would abolish private property, since socialism is the public, or state, ownership of property. Then the state would dissolve itself, and, stage six, communism would arrive, where everyone was finally equal again. It is so laughable to say Jesus was a socialist, because he never advocated for any kind of worldly government at all, socialist or otherwise. He wasn't concerned with worldly kingdoms, but with his spiritual kingdom. Socialists nowadays are often motivated by a compassion for oppressed people, especially people who are economically oppressed. That's a legitimate concern, and it's a concern Jesus had as well. The difference is that Jesus never advocated for governmental control. He went and fixed the problems himself when he decided it was a good thing to do. That's it. He is the perfect man. He is God. He knew exactly the right things to do, not us. See you next time.